this heat tube, the sod of the light gray Rocky heat tube, has been close to two years. First of all, this race, we're talking about the upcoming Thousand Win Ronnie Heat to Memorial Race, which is falling on your birthday, incidentally. Yeah, it's a hell of a birthday present. Uh, it'll be, when that race gets here, it'll be exactly two years and one week. My dad died March 11th of 21, and uh, it still still hits pretty close, but it's uh, nice having, having you guys save his memory, so to speak. Um, it probably his favorite racetrack ever. Uh, he's turned a lot of laps here. He's helped other guys turn a lot of laps here. Um, I think I got my first big win here uh, with him, crew chief, and it's just, I think it's a great thing. Right, and obviously so many memories of your dad out here you just mentioned. Um, possible we see you in the car? Possible. I haven't worked out any details yet, but um, if an opportunity presents itself, which it might, um, I'm not going to turn it down. All right, so this is what we've got here. Let's see if we can see that on the camera. That is the, uh, this is the, and here's what we've got going on. I'm sure you'll like this. And we've got the Chargers, Bombers, Champ Carts, and Mini Cup divisions all in action too. Aiden still got his Mini Cup? No. Uh, Last time we wrecked it, it wrecked it pretty good, and he's a. Uh, we had to get rid of it. Um, we're gonna try him out, uh, possibly this year, in the Super that we built. Um, John's car. We've been talking with John about possibly getting him in that car this year, so that he can get back in the driver's seat because he's been bugging the crap out of me about it. <laughs> I'm sure. So. Um, Going, going back to your dad out here, uh, what is your single greatest memory of with him at the racetrack at this track? I can't say there's really one particular memory. It's all, every memory I've ever had out here has been great with him. Um, even when me and my wife first got together and I brought her to the track for the first time, I mean, I can still remember all the way back then. Uh, it's just, I wish I could have seen him, I wish I could have raced against him back when he was still driving. Um, never got that opportunity, but uh, I think uh, I think it would have been a pretty good fight. Absolutely. Um, your racing background, um, you've got a lot of wins, a lot of success in these mini stock cars as well. Won the Carolina Mini Stock Challenge title back in, I want to say 2019? 18? 18. 18. Yeah, I won the, and then I won the Mini Stock Mayhem Championship in 14, I think. And so, a lot of success for you out here over the years. Um, looking ahead to this race, you know, last year you were helping out Robert Stramiska, who ended up winning the race. It's actually right yeah, that, there. That so, how a, cool was that? That was actually pretty cool. Um, I, went, I came here expecting to just kind of be part of the event and have a good time, and Robert needed a spotter, and I said, might as well. So I, I kind of, I feel like I helped him a little bit, but Robert's pretty damn good. And last year was his years. He was pretty unstoppable. But that was pretty cool to be in victory lane for my dad's race. And just that the race last year itself. Last year had the Richland High School marching band out here. They did, they did a little bit of performing as well. Um, just obviously you look forward to this year, but the whole event last year, just how cool was that to see your dad honored it's such a huge turnout for him yeah it's uh and it's it's really for uh he too strong kidney cancer awareness um because that was how kind of what got my dad was start out as kidney cancer and stage four so it progressed everywhere and um if they would have caught it a little sooner he would have probably still been here with us uh but we're we're gonna we're going to find a local family, either local to Jacksonville or local to Wilmington, that is suffering from cancer and try to help them out a little bit. And I know my dad liked helping people, so that's, that's a good way for my dad to still continue to help people. It was, it was pretty special when you sent me that Facebook message wanting to do a second annual race for, for my dad. Um, it was kind of unexpected. Uh, my my family and I kind of thought that last year was going to be it. Um, 
And when you call and ask to do it again, ask my permission, uh, first off, you don't need my permission. Um, <laughs> anything, to, anything to respect my dad's memory or, or whatever, you're more than welcome to do any, kind, any type of event with it without me. Um, but I just want to say that I really appreciate you calling us first. Um, it means a lot to us, especially in that area of March because it happens to fall where kidney cancer winter month is March and my dad also died in March. Right. Um, so it's kind of a big thing and I just want to say I appreciate it. So a lot of people have asked me what I know about your dad. And I, I don't remember ever having the honor of meeting your dad. And somebody said, well, why are you doing it? And I said, because I love Aiden and Chris. And he was a big, important part of their life. And we just want to make sure that we do it right, that we remember your dad the way he would want to be remembered, that you want us to remember him. And anything we can do to help with that, that's what we want to do. Well, we greatly appreciate it. And uh, like I said, this, is, this was his all-time favorite, favorite track. And many stocks, which is the headline race for, for this event, is... I mean, everybody knows that was, he lived and breathed many stocks. <laughs> right, right. Um, what do you think he would think about the track now? He, I think y'all, no, y'all hadn't yet. Um, he would actually really appreciate what you guys have done with the place. Um, from just cleaning it up and making it look fresh and new to the respect that you guys have for all the racers. Um, there's there's some really good tracks around the air the region and to me y'all have one of the most unique tracks if not the most unique track um, takes a lot to learn it a lot to figure it out and you guys are are showing that you're here for the racers you're not you're not here to put a dollar in your pocket um, so he'd be here every week he'd twist my arm to make sure I was here every week. <laughs> If he was still here. Oh, we appreciate that very much. Who got you into racing? Was it your dad or your grandpa was, or both? They had bought me a uh, little, what do they call it? Yard, it was a yard cart. Yard cart. And I never drove it. I was always too scared to drive. Well, there was one night where he got his, no, whenever Joseph Bryan. Joseph got, Bryan got his first mini cup. And I was like, screw it. So I got a yard cart and I went to the church parking lot down the road and I burned all four tires off and what? He went through two sets of tires in that one day and kind of showed that he really, really wanted to drive. So my dad being my dad, he didn't want to have the second best of anything. He went out and he found the best mini cup that, that was available, which happened to be Larry Hall's. And everybody knows Larry Hall's history in mini cups. He's not going to have anything slow. So he bought that car from Larry and we went the, did you win it your rookie year? You started at the end of 15, I And then the next year. And then 2016, he became the youngest champion at Dillon Motor Speedway, winning the Mini Cup Championship. Nice. Um, which is also kind of special because he, he's now the third generation he too to, to win a racing championship. Nice. Um, my dad won it in the Legends car. Uh, I think he won, he was championship crew chief multiple times with uh, Chris Kenny. Um, a lot of wins here, but to see Aiden win a championship was kind of special to him because it was it's just different. Yeah. Everything's different when it comes down to your kids. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I've known the Heat Twos for quite a while. I mean, I remember the first time I ever met him was at the racetrack. Uh, that was actually right whenever I got my first mini cup. So, uh, Aiden and Chris let me climb in Ada's car and make sure I liked how it felt. And um, it, it was just from there on forth, me and Ada became really good friends, best friends actually. And um, yeah, I remember I remember one day going over to Ada's shop. And, um, Ada's shop, not Chris's shop, but Ada's shop. Or <laughs> Ronnie's shop, yeah, Ronnie's shop. And uh, I remember his granddad going in there and I think he was fussing out Chris. He's fussing out everybody. <laughs> I think he was fussing out Chris for something. And um, yeah, I, I didn't have the have the time with the He Twos. I didn't know him long enough to know Ronnie that good, but I knew him. 
your dad was a really good friend. Yeah, and my dad was really good friends. He built a lot of cars for them, um, I guess. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Every built, car I've driven. He built Chris Kenny's car. He built both the cars <laughs> he drove. Yeah. I mean, um, so can you say that he too got you started in your racing career? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I didn't even think I had my mini cup before I sat in agents. Yeah, we came, so we came to the racetrack, and um, Aiden was there, I remember. He was parked beside Joseph Bryant. His granddad was there. That was whenever. Had the green car, and uh, I got in the mini cup for the first time, and um, from there on the fourth, me and Andrew were pretty much hanging out every weekend. I was obviously better. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Aiden, what's your uh, favorite memory of your grandpa? My favorite memory was the very first time I went to the track and my first car. We did the small track at Dillon. Well, I wasn't getting the hang of it and my granddaddy pulled me over to the side and put me in like a sand field and he drew he drew the track and then drew the line I was supposed to run and that's just kind of stuck with me the whole time. I've never I've never let it go. He's he's always been there to help me, all that's like he's been there. If I ever had a question, he helped me rebuild my very first motor and I miss him. All right, and Chris, we'll get a little emotional here. If you could, if you could say, if your if Ronnie was here, your dad was here right now, and you could say one thing to him, what would you say? I hope I did you proud. Um, it took a, a long time growing up. We we didn't see eye to eye. Um, a lot like me and Aiden are now. Uh, but if I ever needed anything, he was there. And as I grew into an adult, me and him became best friends. And he taught me a lot. There's a lot I know that he didn't get to teach me, but I feel him over my shoulder. Uh, the, the car that's on track right now was the first car that I've rebuilt without him here. And I think he'd be proud of what I've done. All right, and Aiden, say, if you could say one thing to your grandpa. Um. If I could say one thing to him, I'd say that I'm going to get that red 67 foul that he always wanted, and uh, I'm going to burn the tires down on that thing for him. Here at New River, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, guys.